Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, check this out. Something new to the YouTube uh, that we've been trying to do in the past, but we just kind of got, we just constantly be, we're just too random. We're too random. I'm too random of a person, and I'm, I'm not very organized, but I still get shit done. So, what I'm trying to do, um, and then just Jeff kind of talked about, is getting a schedule for our programs when we put out content. Now, starting today, we just put out the video Sunday, which is with Katie. The next video will be on Wednesday, which is today, um, for you guys. And then the next video after that will be Friday. So Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, three videos a week, every week. From now on is our schedule. Yeah, 9 a.m. in the morning, um, PST. So 9 a.m. here would mean 12 o'clock in the East Coast. Three, three, three hours ahead. And then on Twitch will be 6 p.m. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That's my Twitch schedule for those who want to watch my live streams. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 6 p.m. PST, 9 o'clock on the East Coast in New York, far in. All right, so we're going to train upper body today. Something that I would do on, a, let's say for those people who don't only really, have, only really have time to train three times or, you know, four times a week or so, and uh, you like to do, like, upper body days, lower body days, um, rather than your typical one body part, one body part uh, days. Which I actually prefer, um, depending on what level I'm at, if I'm really trying to focus on certain areas specifically, then I'll do like the one body part days. But right now, I think the best thing, honestly, for universal, for, for everybody, is splitting your upper body days, your lower body days, uh, instead of just working one muscle at a time. Like, no more, I, I don't think, unless you're like a, a pro bodybuilder or really pushing that super bodybuilder type, I don't think you should focus on on um, single body part days. I think you should focus on fully upper body, fully lower body, have an endurance conditioning day, full upper body, full lower body again, same thing. It should be in that type of rotation. And um, I mean, that's what, I, that's what I've been doing majority of my life and it's worked out for me. Not until I moved to New York that I started doing the whole like chest day, back day. But I really honestly, it bores me. I don't care, it's not enough for me. So I like doing like full upper body and full lower body days. Gotta make this work out fast, cause what, it's 12 o'clock now. 12.42, we got John Wick at 3 p.m. So, there you go, 12.42, movies at three. Let's go here. Quick workout. Get one more warm up set and then we'll put some weight on. Mm. Throw shit all the way to my chin. Like, like right here, like a log, like a fat log of muscle just like clumped up. And I need to pop it. So we did incline, did uh, the warm up sets, two sets, and about two sets of 10. And then I did think uh, I had 315 on there. I only was able to do two sets of three uh, with that until I just started being a little bitch and uh, went back down to 225 to do a dust set about like 18 reps or so. Um, so now we're gonna do reverse grip, close, pull downs, which really builds that nice, when you do this, 
boom right here. You feel that you feel that area up with those lats and that 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 uh, lumbar right in the middle, and you can see that all that definition and stuff for the connections, the muscle fibers connections, build a really nice looking looking back. So if you want a strong, nice looking back. This is what you need to do. You want to do about about 10 to 15 reps, about four to five sets. So what I like to do is when I do my rep schemes, when I say 10 to 15, starting out, all right, 10 to 15 is what I'm thinking about for that first set. I go up, so it was at 125. 15 was about, was about enough reps for that 125, and it felt good. So I go up to 145. All right, 145, 10 to 15 reps. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna hit, you know, the main goal is still 15, but I'm thinking I'm gonna hit, all right, you know, went up about 20 pounds, 25 pounds, I should be able to hit 13, I mean, uh, 13 reps now. Go up again, I should be able to hit 12, 11 reps now, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of the mindset you wanna have when you're starting out your, your sets. And like, all right, you know, if I'm going up and weight each set, you know, where am I gonna end up in that 10 to 15 rep range? And uh, it's all about that starting weight. That starting weight is to tell you, like, all right, this, this is the weight I should be using to, uh, to start my setup. And just because you do your first, you know, movement doesn't mean that's your first set. I always like to see, like, sometimes the first movement um, is just to see where that weight will take me for my, my goal um, reps. All right. Uh, so I commented, I made a comment, a description on uh, Instagram. So I get Spawn, Ryu Hayabusa, or Yoshimitsu tattoo. He was like, I should get Spawn deadlifting like a thousand pounds or some shit. Get him, get him deadlifting with his chains. His chains come out and shit. Uh, I do not want any weight tattoo, period. I think weight tattoos are so horrible, so ugly, so douchey and so bad. Just like, I hate tribal tattoos. Like, luckily I got something more meaningful. When I mean tribal tattoos, I mean the ones with like, or like the OG, just like random ass, like random ass shapes and shit. and shit. I hate those shits are so ugly. Like uh, I think Batista has them. I think yeah, Batista has it. Uh, I think Brock Lesnar has one also. I ain't shouting. Uh, but yeah, I hate this shit so ugly. So. And uh, with like the sharp ends or whatever. And uh, they, they look like uh, they look like car vinyls and shit. Yeah, yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, exactly, car vinyls. And I hate um, I hate crosses and scriptures tattoos. I hate cross scriptures tattoos. The Lord don't want us to get tattoos in the first place, let alone do I, I y'all I hate word tattoos, bro. It, it looks cool and it looks nice in another language, you know what I'm saying? Like if you get something like Latin or or I mean of course you like like Japanese kanji. Kanji, it looks nice. It look it looks like art itself, but getting some American words. Like American literature sucks in the first place. So it's like I don't know, I just find it stupid. I just find it stupid. That's just my opinion though. All right, let's shut up. The worst part about deadlifts is putting the weight on and taking the weight off. The only thing we didn't do, like back in the day in football, damn, nigga saying back in the day, fucking old ass. Back in the day is deadlifts. I never did deadlift until like college. Like, like, honestly, until after college, we did like trap bar days, but we didn't do like straight bar deadlifts. That wasn't a concern. Um, we did do squats, we did do bench. Squat, bench, trap bar, trap bar squats. Yeah, no, we didn't do deadlifts, man, that's crazy. Damn. But it's not like something to really focus on, you know? Like, does deadlifts translate? Like, yeah, it does. But I think trap bar, squats, deadlifts, whatever you fucking guys want to fucking call it, um, translate a lot more into athleticism. They're doing a straight bar. So, about all, it's all about having a center of gravity, what you prefer. Moving heavy weight regardless. A little light, too light.
a week. Oh my god. I'm probably going 50 pounds. Did I go up 50 pounds? I'm not sure. Hmm. I gotta at least go seven. At least. I mean, I don't want to struggle to get it up, but. I ain't ready for eight wheels yet. But we're gonna try. I try to work up to the 150 with the movement.
last set, last set. Let's get it. Outside area, building that sculpt, getting strong, getting athletic, getting muscular, lean, burning fat. If you want to do this workout, and add in like 30 minutes of cardio after, put a little bit of a little bit more leaner build, or you can just be swollen and not do cardio. But I need to do cardio more now. It's like I go through periods where one week I'm all about cardio, next week I'm just like, go fuck all this shit. So that being said, make sure you like, subscribe. To the channel Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Write that down, hit that notification button, and don't forget. And uh, I'll be catching you on the next video. Peace. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Hey, man.